Hey guys, it's Techyanian, and today I'm gonna show you guys the before and after the first update of the S24 Ultra. And so we have the 12 megapixel on the left before the update, on the right uh, after the update. So far, to me, it looks like the shadows are more preserved and cropping in, you can see it better. So the 12 megapixel definitely has a, a 5 to 10 percent improvement. Now it's the 50 megapixel on the left. We have before the update on the right, after the update, and definitely the shadows have been crashed. Um, I'm gonna crop in to see uh, how about the quality, uh, the noise level, and so on. Cropping in, definitely we can see the shadows are really crashed. So what I'm gonna do is I will increase the manually the shadows and the brightness to see the difference. This is my um, uh, changes I made. I increased the shadows 100% and uh, brightness by 10%. Uh, after manually increasing the shadows and the brightness, this is what I see. Uh, the green tint it had before definitely have been improved uh, at the expense of um, higher, like crashing the, um, the dark areas which uh, definitely we always have to if we are using the 50 megapixel uh, now there is a manual task of every time the darker areas you need to increase the shadows uh, all the time so one side they fix the green tint they messed up another side which is the dark areas now is the 200 megapixel so similar uh, processing on the right the new, uh, after the update the dark areas are crashed I adjusted similar to the 50 megapixel, um, the shadows to 100% and uh, brightness around 14% on this 200 megapixel and this is 85% crop you can see the details difference I would say the noise level almost similar uh, they're similar in uh, quality and details the same area another uh, uh, same picture I meant uh, another area just to see the difference uh, where uh, which is not dark areas uh, so technically I see a slight improvement in details capturing um, also a slight uh, sharpening was added as well this is indoor bright day 60% crop and I don't see uh, significant difference except color differences between the two 50 megapixel indoor similar uh, only color difference i can notice at 60 percent crop um, but uh, the quality is identical i uh, the previous uh, before the update might be maybe two to five percent better the 200 megapixel similar result and uh, only color difference the quality is almost identical as before. Um, the only thing I think is they have added a slight amount of sharpness compared to before, which I don't prefer. I like the 200 megapixel without any sharpness. And now is the video. I would say identical. I don't see any differences uh, between the two conclusion guys so yes the 50 megapixel and the 200 megapixel uh, outdoor um, it does capture a little bit more details i would say maybe around five percent more uh, noise also is uh, around five percent uh, less i would say but also there is a added sharpness of around five percent compared to before not a big difference um, though only they did uh, fix the green tint um, which was present before after the update it's gone but now a new problem is the dark areas are crashed so we have to manually all the time uh, improve the dark areas which if you know how to edit it's not uh, very difficult um, uh, also like when the picture doesn't have dramatic like bright and dark sides then it's gonna be fine you don't need to adjust so Thanks for watching guys, enjoy.